Hi, we are on our eighth tutorial on the HTML2 WordPress series of video screencasts. And in this tutorial, we are going to customize the footer.php file. So now I know that in our last uh, set of uh, screencasts, um, things went on a little bit too long simply because there were so many container files to go through. But I promise you that in this tutorial, things are going to be short and sweet. Okay, so let us get started. So from our uh, last screencast, we have styled up the uh, container such that so that um, our page essentially contained the header, the sidebar, and the main con uh, content area. And so the only thing that's missing now is this footer area, which we're going to do today. But before we do that, there is something extra that we should fix from our last tutorial. Now you notice that when we click on one of these um, links in the main navigation page, the tab of our current page does not show up currently. And now if we compare it back to the one in our demo layout, you can see that the white tab should appear if we click on one of the links. So clearly that there's something wrong with our code that needs to be fixed. So now let us just take a look at the code here to see what's going on. So um, this is the header section, which is what we want. And here is the navigations. So you can see here that for this is the about page, the um, item for the link for about page has this current page ID, uh, I mean current page item class. And clearly, there's something in our uh, styles of CSS that needs to be fixed in order for that to appear. Okay, so let this let me just move this off to the side and then open up our styles.css file. So if we scroll down the list, um, scroll, 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 we get into a layout section, and then here is our header. So keep on scrolling down. This is top menu. Okay, so here it is. This is the navigation section. And if you scroll down, you would find something that says the here, which should uh, change the current item and display the tab. Well, unfortunately, uh, this is not the the tab now does not have an ID of current. Instead, it has this class of current page item. And so this will need to be changed into dot current underscore page underscore item. Similarly, the link, uh, the style below also needs to be changed. Current page item. Okay, now if we save that and then go back to our page and reload, you should see that the tab appears. Perfect. Okay, now that that's done, we could get started on our footer. Okay, so if we compare the two footers between our template, template, and our WordPress theme, you can see that all of this is just garbage information that needs to be removed. And it has to be replaced with, on the left-hand side here, some co uh, copyright information. The middle have um, a section of links. And then on the uh, right-hand side, you have just the um, design information. So let us get coding. So on, so I'm just going to open that footer.php file, which is our um, practice themes um, template file for the footer. And then on the other hand, we're going to open up index.html, uh, the layout file, to um, copy and paste the further information from. So if I scroll down, you would see that the further starts here and ends there. Okay, so on the actual further file, let us get started with editing. Now the sub package here, this now needs to be changed into just practice theme. And then after that, you can see this huge section is not what we needed. So we can just get rid of all of it. And of course, this is followed by this tag, the uh, WP underscore footer 
function, which is similar to the WP underscore header function. This is to tell WordPress to load in the footer information. And so we have to leave that and actually keep that always in the footer file. And now going back to um, our template file here, we can just copy everything and then paste it in here. Perfect. So let me just fix the alignment a little bit so things are easier for me to read. Blah, blah. I really hate those multiple tabs. Okay, so you can see here that um, actually just save this first and take a look at what it looks like. Our footer, reload it. You can see we have the main free section. However, the links are not pointed to the correct location and we need to change the copyright. So let's just get started on the copyright. So uh, this is found inside a div, a div of class left. Copyright information goes here. So let's just delete that and put in our own copyright information. So let's just put in the year and then put in your name and then it's always a good idea to put the name of the site so I'm just going to use an m dash here to separate the two files m dash oops and then um, now in order to grab the name of our site we're going to use the uh, WordPress uh, function uh, blog info name Okay, and then close the uh, PHP tag, and then save. And then let's just take a look at our page. And you can see here that uh, WordPress automatically put in the name of our site within our copyright. Okay, so now we need to fix all of these links because currently they just point to index, which is not what we want. So going back here, you can see that this um, navigation uh, links set of links is located within the center tag. And then this is supposed to point to home, but that's not going to work. So let us put in another PHP tag in order to call a WordPress function called get option. And then we want the home link. Close the tag. So we've seen this tag before used in the header file. So save that. And then next thing, um, it's asking to have a sitemap. Well, unfortunately, we haven't generated a sitemap template that would um, create this file. So let's just get rid of this link and put in our about page. Okay. And then for the link here, let's just put about. And then finally, to generate the RSS feed, uh, not generate, but to point to the URL for the RSS feed, same thing as what we did in our headed, uh, header file. We use blog info RSS2 underscore URL. Close it. Close the bracket. Close this. Perfect. Oops. Need to close the tag. Can't do that. Okay. So now let's save it and load to see what it looks like. And so we have our home. Oops. There we go. That's the page we want. So it goes to the home page. That's fine. And then we have the about page. Perfect. And now the RSS feed. Good, so all three links now works. And then on the right hand box here, this is just the uh, designer information and we don't need to change that. And so we are done with the footer. That was quick and easy, eh? Thanks for watching.